Over the billions of years that this planet has been in existence, many species have come and gone. Some animals have suffered due to a changing climate, and there's no getting away from the fact that we humans have caused many extinctions. Thankfully, some animals are more resilient than others, and they won't disappear without a fight. Some species that were once teetering on the brink of extinction can now be found in healthy numbers all across their range. In today's video, I will be going through some of the more incredible stories, and some of the animals that made truly incredible comebacks. For our first animal, we will be heading over to Central Asia, as we have the Saiga antelope. The Saiga antelope is a pretty prehistoric looking creature, and it used to have a much larger distribution. During the Pleistocene, it ranged across the Mammoth Steppe, but today it has two distinct populations. These subspecies are known as the Russian Saiga and the Mongolian Saiga. The Russian Saiga is much more widespread, but at one point in time, these animals almost went extinct. One of the first things that you may notice about a Saiga antelope is its bizarre large nose. This appendage helps it to survive in very harsh conditions, as it helps to warm cold air before it enters its lungs, and the nostrils help to filter out dust and cool the blood during hot days. This strange snout, along with many other adaptations, is what allows them to survive in such harsh environments, and this is part of the reason why they have survived for so long. This animal's population started to decline during the late Pleistocene into the Holocene, and this was mostly due down to human-related factors. During the second half of the 19th century, they were relentlessly hunted, and this was both for their meat and their horns. The high price and demand for these horns drove radical hunting, and the number of these animals decreased in all regions in which they were found. Their population declined massively following the collapse of the USSR, as this led to uncontrolled hunting, and this wasn't helped by the fact that they were used in Chinese traditional medicine. After protections were put in place, this animal started to bounce back, but this wasn't helped by a mass die-off in 2015. A bacteria wiped out almost 200,000 of these animals, but thankfully the Saiga was not ready to give up. Thanks to a series of conservation measures, including a government crackdown on poaching, these animals have bounced back. In May 2023, the population in Kazakhstan was thought to be around 1.9 million individuals, and this was a massive 45% increase from the previous year. This really shows us how resilient the Saiga is, as it went from almost being wiped out to having a population in the millions. Hopefully this unique animal will be on this planet for many years to come, as really there's nothing else like it. For our next species, we can head to Africa and Asia, as we have the cheetah. The cheetah is famously the fastest land animal on this planet today, as it's capable of running at a speed of 60 miles per hour. To be able to achieve this speed, it has to be very lightweight, and this does come with its drawbacks. As the cheetah is so lightweight, it is also very fragile, and this means that it often backs away from a fight. It often has to give up kills to other predators, and this makes life very hard for the cheetah. Today, the cheetah has four distinct subspecies. The Southeast African cheetah, the Asiatic cheetah, the Northeast African cheetah, and the Northwest African cheetah. These four subspecies have a very fragmented distribution, and they are one of the more endangered big cats. Cheetahs were once widespread in Africa, and they also used to roam from the Arabian Peninsula into central India. Today, they are only found across 10% of their historic range, but some scientists believe that it was once much worse for the cheetah. Even though life is quite hard for a cheetah today as it has to compete with so many other predators, it hasn't been that close to extinction in recent decades. Instead, it's believed that the cheetah almost went extinct around 10,000 to 12,000 years ago, and this is mostly based on genetic evidence. In 1983, biologists found that South African cheetahs had very little genetic variability from one animal to another. These animals were more genetically homogenous than deliberately inbred strains of laboratory mice. A team of US, Kenyan, and British researchers had concluded that the species had undergone a drastic near-extinction event, and that there were so few survivors that inbreeding was inevitable. Cheetahs in East Africa seem to have more genetic variability, but still not as much as they should have. It's believed that after the species was almost entirely wiped out, two populations survived, one in the south and one in the east. In more recent times, they almost went extinct after heavy hunting by Europeans, but thankfully they've bounced back. 
Even though cheetah populations are much healthier nowadays, they are still listed as vulnerable, and there are an estimated 7,000 to 8,000 individuals in the wild. One of the main threats that cheetahs face today is a loss of habitat and a loss of available prey. Savannas are often turned into farmland, and when cheetahs run out of available prey they will start to hunt livestock. This of course leads to human wildlife conflict, and in some cases the cheetahs are killed. It's almost impossible to imagine the African ecosystem without cheetahs, and it would have been very tragic if we lost them. So even though they're not out of the woods yet, at least we still have them. And I'm thankful that we didn't lose the fastest land animal on this planet. For our final species, we can head over to North America, as we have the wild turkey. The wild turkey is an upland game bird native to North America, and it is one of two extant species of turkey. The oscillated turkey is the other species, and this animal is arguably more striking. This bird is the heaviest member in its order, and it can reach a maximum weight of 16.85 kilograms. Even though this bird may look quite cumbersome, they are surprisingly efficient flyers, and they also have quite keen senses. They can see more clearly than 2020 vision, and they have a 270 degree field of vision. This helps them to spot both predators and hunters, but of course at one point in time they were almost completely wiped out. Wild turkey populations plummeted in the 19th century, and this was mostly due down to overhunting and loss of habitat. When the Europeans first arrived in the Americas, wild turkeys were found from Canada to Mexico, and these animals were found in their millions. The Europeans knew nothing about the bird's life cycle, and therefore they didn't know what damage they were doing. Wild turkeys need trees to roost in, and the Europeans were deforesting large areas. They were also getting rid of prairie grasslands, and this habitat was crucial for the turkeys. As they had nowhere to go to escape their predators and to lay their eggs, the turkey population plummeted, and this wasn't helped by the fact that they were also eaten. It's estimated that their population got as low as 30,000 in the US by the 1930s, and by the 1940s it was almost entirely extirpated from Canada. Eventually protections were put in place, and the remaining turkey populations were introduced into different parts of North America. In 1973, the US population was estimated to be around 1.3 million, and today there are an estimated 7 million. It's astonishing to see that this bird has bounced back so effectively, and it really is an iconic North American animal. Of course there are plenty of other animals that have a similar story to the animals that I featured in this video, so if you know of any let me know down in the comments below, and if there's a video that you'd like me to make then also let me know down below. But for now, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, but until next time, goodbye.